everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the curly hair products that I use. I remember telling you guys about my big chop and since that time I've changed all the products that I use. I now use products that don't have parabens and the reason that I do this is because I used to use a lot of products that would damage my hair such as Tresemme uh, mousse and I used to use a lot of gels and things like that that would really make my hair crunchy and just weren't healthy for my hair so now I switched to organic products or more expensive products that are less likely to damage my hair and today I'm going to talk to you guys about that so the first hair product that I'm going to talk to you about is the leave-in conditioner that I use now on my hair and the reason that I really like this product is because I've been using it for a really long time and I feel like before when I was younger and I didn't really know how to take care of my hair I used to use a lot of products and think that that was going to maintain my hair and keep moisture in my hair and tame it but now I just use conditioner that's a leave-in and usually anything that's milky will work on my hair so now I'm using the Aussie Moist which is actually just a regular conditioner that you're supposed to use with shampoo and conditioner but I like to use it as a leave-in so usually the way that I do my hair on first day hair is I'll take a few pumps or I'll take one pump per section and I'll just part my hair and I'll rake my hair and scrunch it and then I'll either use a diffuser on cold or I'll let it air dry and that usually works for me. This is actually second, no, third day hair and this is how it looks right now. Um, so this is the conditioner that I use on my hair and it works amazing. So. I would highly recommend this. This is also very big and this has lasted me about three months now. Um, and that's a really long time for people with curly hair. I really like that it's also in a pump bottle. So I can't stress it enough that this is a great moisturizer for curly hair and it's one of my favorite products. Next, another cream that I really like to use is the Curls Creme Brulee. And that is also by Curls. And they have different packaging. I'm not sure where I got both of these from. I'm pretty sure I got them from Target. One of them I might have gotten in LA, but I'm pretty sure that this is the new brand um, packaging for curls. And their website might be different sometimes when you buy it in the store and in the website. The packaging is different, but it's just curls. So it says curls in the front right here and right here. I just really like this, um, especially for second, third, fourth day hair when I only have to use a little bit of product because I've already moisturized my hair. And the reason for that is because I like how it works after first day hair and also because it's cheap, it's cheaper to use this after your first day hair because this is kind of like on the more expensive side for me. This costs about $11 for this little bottle and I can't use this on all of my hair so I do use my Aussie um, moist conditioner as a leave-in on my first day because I can use more of that and it's cheaper for me and then I'll go to this on my second third fourth day hair and that is my routine uh, for the creams that I use in my hair and the leave-in. So now we're gonna move on to styling gels that I like to use. I don't really like to use gels on my hair when my hair is down because it makes my hair hard and I don't like what that does to my hair when it's down and how it makes it look so the only time that I use styling gels is actually when I am styling my hair so I have three favorite gels right now this is the eco styler gel that I use it comes in a fairly large tub so it does last you a long time especially if you're only using it for styling I know a lot of people sometimes use it when their hair is down and that works for them however for me this creates flaking and I don't know if that's because you know sometimes I touch my hair or if it's because I'm using the olive oil kind but I just like to use this when my hair is up and I'm not touching it I usually use this whenever I'm doing a slick back and it has olive oil so I really like that about it it's supposed to moisturize hair and scalp and same frizz it says no flake but I get flake whenever I wear it down um, and it has UV protection and it's alcohol free and this is the Eco Styler Gel and I will put a link to this down below as well. And then my second gel would be my Goddess Curls by Curls. I usually will use this gel sometimes when my hair is down just on the top part of my hair because that's sometimes or actually a lot of times where I get frizz. So I'll just put a little dime size of this with a little bit of water and then I'll just you know kind of spread it around the top of my hair and then that'll take away some frizz 
So this is the Goddess Curls Gel by Curls and I will also put a link to all the products that I'm listing today down below in the description box. Next we have the Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste and this is also by Curls and it smells like passion fruit. It smells really really good and I really like this gel because it's kind of like a mix between a gel and a wax. So it doesn't make your hair too too hard but it does keep it in place and that's what I really love about it. I use this usually whenever I am twisting the front of my hair. It works really well for that or a lot of times when I wake up in the morning this part of my hair will be really frizzy and I like to use it for that just to kind of like take away some frizz. I usually just put it in the front around my edges and that's what I really like to use this for. This one is about $11 and it's kind of hard to find. A lot of times it's sold out in the drugstores that I usually go to, at least for me. Um, I get mine from Target. So this is the Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste by Curls and I really like this for whenever I'm twisting my hair or for the edges of my hair. So I think it's really important for me to talk about the problems that I have with oils on my hair. I used to use the Trader Joe's coconut oil and after a while I realized that that product was making my face break out because as you can see I like to wear bangs in the front of my hair and it just touches my forehead so then it makes my face greasy and it doesn't help that I already have oily skin. So I have switched to something else. And now what I use isn't really an oil, but it's the Lavish Curls Moisturizer by Curls. And it kind of feels like an oil in your hair. This I more so use for all of my hair and whenever I have frizz just sticking out all over the place, I'll use this and it also gives shine to my hair. So that's what I really like about this because it works as an oil for me. So everyone, we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you liked all the products that I featured in this video. This is what I've been using as of late. If I use anything else, I will be sure to make an updated video. I hope that you like everything that I showed you and I hope that you learned something from this video. Comment down below and let me know if you use any of these products and what you think of them. Let me know how some of them might or might have not worked for you. Also, hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.